And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, what a pop from the crowd as this guy makes the walk. Such a well-rounded fighter, and you gotta think when the opponent breaks him down on film, not a lot of weaknesses jump out of the video. This is a true mixed martial artist. May not stand out in any one area, but plus skills across the board, probably comfortable just about anywhere this fight goes tonight. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He does not mind standing or going to the ground, and this diversity makes him very unpredictable. So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off of the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range, more often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. Tiago Alves is a very dangerous striker. He has knockout power in his hands and feet, and he also cuts a ton of weight to compete in this weight class, and is probably coming in 20 pounds heavier than what he weighed in at. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Black Mamba. And now we're going to see some fighting at the red corner. This man is an mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 11 losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting at a coconut creek, Bologna, Tiago Pitbull. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki draws the assignment here. Here we go, first round, you ready? You ready? First well, Houston, round. Texas has been a huge market for the UFC of late. And no surprise, we are back and now underway here from Toyota Center in the H-Town. Oh, nice punch there by Tiago Alves. Pick to the body. He's doing a real good job of landing those punches. Damaging strike there. Oh, he connects there. Alves is punched to the body, rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. Beautiful timing with the left hand. He is getting off some huge punches here. Oh, he missed that kick. Oh, nice. Oh, big kick to the leg for him there, Joe. Vicious combinations. So more output, at least in the early going. They have started this fight off with a brawl. Well, he lands another jab, really employing the jab effectively here. Big punch. Lands the double jab. Him with the left. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Oh, beautiful combination. Powerful leg kick. Oh, huge shot there. Lands flush. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Oh, he got hurt! He 
he's in big trouble. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. That's a nice elbow right there. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Back to side control. And there's one leg over. He's almost mounted him here. He's got it. He's mounted him. In half guard position. Oh, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe, as he tags him with that punch. And he's up. Alves gets lit up by that uppercut. And there he swung with a haymaker. Alves' strike attempt there is blocked. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. How about that chin? Yeah, it looks oh, a little wobbly on his feet. He tagged him. He's hurt bad. He's got him hurt here. Body kick, look at that. Under two minutes to go now in our opening round. Oh, he just missed with that straight left hand, Joe. Back and forth we go here. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Boy, tie plus. Oh, big elbow. Oh. He's in big, big, big trouble. Committed to that jab. Flipped him with the jab. Oh, he tagged him in the left. He's got him hurt here. He is going after it here. Just missed with that huge kick. Oh, body kick. Look at that. Oh man. And he connects there. Got attempt here. Nice job defensively there. Oh, this could be it right here. Oh, goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, Vicious elbow. elbow lands to the head. Hard straight punch. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Nice jab there, Joe. Great exchanges. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh! Man has it. Oh, he's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. Beautiful knockout for the KO victory as the round was ended. Wow, Joe, just incredible. Just when I thought I was going to start asking you about what adjustments they could make for the next round, we get the end of the fight. A huge shot to drop his opponent. The referee wisely jumps in to stop the action there. Near perfect execution on that fight ending sequence. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. The decision is inside the Octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Amasaki is called to stop for this contest of four minutes, 57 seconds of the very first round. To play the winner by knockout, Tiago Pitbull So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.